Welcome to YK Computer. My name is Yogi Raj and in this video tutorial, I will teach you how to install CentOS 7. Let's get start. First of all, you will need to download the CentOS image file. You can head over to the centos.org on the home page, click on get CentOS now and move to the download page. Over here, you will be shown three different ISO image file download options as DVD ISO, everything ISO and minimal ISO. For this video tutorial, we will choose the DVD ISO option. Download page link is in the description. Moving on, now you can try the different mirror links to download the CentOS image file. Image file size is 4.2 GB. It will take some time to download the file. So let's fast forward this download process. After successfully downloading the image file, next you need to create a live USB stick. You do have the option of creating a live DVD. We will be using a third party application called UNet Bootin over here. The download link for this software is in description. Once downloaded, simply run the application and we can get start with making the live USB stick. Before getting started, make sure that you have connected the USB to system and formatted it. We are using a 16 GB USB here. Moving on, select the disk image option and make sure you have the ISO option selected from the drop down menu. With that done, click on the browse button and select the CentOS file that you just downloaded previously. With that done, make sure the USB drive option is selected for the type. Make sure that you selected the correct drive here. You can double check by opening up my computer. With that done, click on OK and it will start creating a bootable live USB. This will take 8 to 10 minutes depending upon your USB speed. Let's fast forward this process as this gonna take some time. Once done, you can reboot the system. While rebooting, we will enter into the BIOS and move to the booting options. Make sure that the USB or removable disks are at the top of boot priority. This will allow us to boot from the USB device. With that done, we will save the changes and exit the BIOS. Now CentOS will open up in live mode. Here you have the two options as install CentOS 7 and other is test this media and install CentOS 7. We will choose the first option, install CentOS 7. Wait till this load the installer and then a welcome screen will appear. Here, first of all, you will be required to select the language. In this tutorial, I am gonna select the English language as default and click continue. Next, you will be shown options for installation like under localization, date and time, keyboard, language support, under software, installation source, software selection, under system, installation destination, kdump, network and hostname, security policy. Let's start with selecting date and time. Select your time zone from map, then the time format like 24 hour or the am pm below the map. You can enable network time if you have an active network. Click done at the upper left corner. Keyboard and language both are already in English US so leave them default. Installation source is local media and it don't require to be changed. Next, you will be required to choose the software selection. Under the base environment pane, you can select minimal install, computer node, infrastructure server, file and print server, basic web server, virtualization host, server with GUI, genome desktop, KDE plasma, workspace, development and creative workstations. In this tutorial, we will choose the genome desktop. And for the add-on selection, for our environment, we will choose genome applications, internet applications, office suite and productivity. Moving on next, click done. Now, we have to choose the installation destination. Select your hard drive. You will be given options for installations like automatically configure partitioning and I will configure partitioning. If you select this option, you can create new partition tables. This comes handy when you want to run multiple operating systems. Moving back, let's select the first option. Here, make sure you have a backup before pursuing this option. Click begin installation. After that, the installation process will start automatically. Over here, you can see two options for user settings. Click Click root password to set the password for root account. Enter the root password and confirm it by entering it second time. Click done. After this, we will create a user. Enter the details in the form like full name, username. You can make this user administrator by checking the box make this user administrator. Enter password for this user and confirm the password by entering it second time. Click done. The installation process is still running. This will take some time. Let's fast forward this process. Once completed, this will be required to reboot the system. 
remove the installation media after successful reboot you will see the post installation screen with two options license information and network and host name click license information click on the checkbox to accept the license agreement with that done click on finish installation after it you can see here that CentOS has been successfully installed with the user account already created let's enter the credentials and sign in the user and over here you can see that the welcome screen is appearing that means CentOS has been successfully installed on the system now you can set up your system with language keyboard online accounts etc click start using CentOS Linux this is how you can install the CentOS Linux thanks for watching please like share comment your valuable feedback and questions and most important make sure that you subscribe to YK computer for more video tutorials like this